Hi everyone, I'm Liz Brown Swanson and welcome to Around the Peninsula. Today I'm here in San Pedro at the Port of Los Angeles at Birth 93, where LA County Supervisor Janice Hahn gave her second annual State of the County address to a packed audience, including many elected leaders from Rancho Palos Verdes. Thank you. The State of the County of Los Angeles is strong.
families with priceless gifts of peace of mind, but they don't come cheap. Each bracelet costs a little over $300. We've already been able to give these bracelets to 133 people free of charge, and we are securing funding for an additional 700. I'm thrilled today to announce that the San Pedro Chamber of Commerce has agreed to donate a percentage of the proceeds from today's event to buy and bracelets for families who need them. by visiting LAFound.com, or you can visit the LAFound staff uh, here today. They're in the back of the room. Well, this was a little easier. Last year, I think I was more nervous because it was the first state of the county. But I think I'm always struck by how large the county of Los Angeles is. I mean, we're made up of 88 cities, Rancho Palos Verdes being one of them. Um, so, you know, and in my district alone, there's 26 cities. So I have 26 mayors, 26 councils um, that are also doing good work, and I just try to find out how I can be supportive and help every city be the best it can be. Of course, we're glad you oversee Rancho Palos Verdes, our city, and you mentioned 45th, so thank you. I know you did a lot at your office to help support 45th, but when you look at the peninsula at RPV, what do you focus on from, from your point of view, what you can bring to the residents? Well, I know public safety is a big issue uh, for everyone, so I know I work closely with the LA County Sheriffs. Um, and make sure that Captain Behringer and the Lomita station is always, you know, paying attention and responding. We want response calls to be fast to residents of RPV. I do know there's a coyote problem in, in RPV. So we are working, in fact, in this year's budget, we added an extra person specifically uh, to that unit so they can spend more time trying to solve the problem of coyotes in Rancho Palos Verdes as well as other places. It's a big problem and we're trying to do whatever we can to help. Listed so many things that you're able to accomplish with your very big team. You're going to be incoming as chair. So what are you looking forward to in terms of challenges ahead? Well, I think the homeless challenge is still going to be around next year. You know, the voters agreed to tax themselves for 10 years. So we're going to raise a serious amount of money, but only for 10 years. Um, so we got still a lot of work to do to find people more affordable housing, more shelters. And that is something I know will be a priority for mine. And as I said in my speech, I kind of want to look at the idea of flexible work schedules and alternative work sites. I think if we could, you know, look at the 100,000 employees in the county of Los Angeles, that we could figure out a better way of where they all go to work every day and what time they go to work, that might put a dent uh, in the traffic. And of course, transportation is always a number one priority. We have to build projects that actually will get people out of their cars. Projects that connect, that are convenient, that are easy, and that people will take. I know your wheels are always spinning. Um, what do you love most about where you're at now? I mean, you've been in Congress, you've been on the council. Of course, we, you have such a political family when it comes to the county board of supervisors, but what are you enjoying the most in all of that? I love local government. You know, I put my time in, I served my country for five and a half years in Congress, but honestly, local government is where I started. I started on the City Council of Los Angeles, and it's where I am now. And I think nowadays, particularly with what's going on in Washington, D.C., more and more people in all of our cities are depending on their local city council members, their local mayors, their local school boards. Those are the people that are going to solve their problems. I feel like I can do a lot to improve my little corner of the world, and I'm not going to get distracted uh, by what's uh, the craziness that's going on in Washington, D.C. Great to always be joined by the mayor of RPV, Susan Brooks. This will be your second time attending County Supervisor Hans, State of the County. Also, we have to add, she's one of your closest friends. So this is exciting for you. It is exciting for me. It's exciting for me, for our city. It's exciting for me, for my friend. It's exciting for um, for her for to represent this county, and I think she's doing a fantastic job of it. We have such a so much in Rancho Palos Verdes that we have been able to gain with our relationship with the supervisor. Uh, she's really helped us with legislation that we're moving through so that we can free up some much needed land um, for emergency services that we greatly need. And if, if we didn't have Janice and her connections in Washington, we wouldn't be able to move forward the way we really need to do on behalf of our residents. Also, she's helped us with crime fighting issues, 
serious, uh, seriously, with not just you, we have the ALPRs, but with the Sheriff's Department, uh, they have been a tremendous influence and very great support. And she also happens to live here in San Pedro, very close to our city. So, um, and also uh, she's helped us with our 45th celebration. So she's really shown dedication, not just to Rancho Palos Verdes, but to the whole peninsula. The county's been a great partner. Janice Hahn has been an excellent supervisor and an excellent par partner to the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. A couple of key issues, of course, impacting our city. As you know, our city council is looking right now at the landslide and our planning for the future, what we're going to do there. And I think our collaboration with the county on that uh, any mitigation uh, steps that we take I think is going to be really critical. Another issue that's particularly important to me is transportation. So obviously we're sort of isolated on the peninsula, but there's all those main ancillary roads around us, Western, et cetera, uh, Hawthorne. Transportation and making sure that we're taking steps to ensure that we're getting people through quickly and safely is really important to me. And that's actually right in front of us. A couple council meetings ago, we talked about the Western synchronization project that the city of Rancho Palos Verdes, I'm very proud to say, is taking the lead on and working with state and local agencies. And so I, I'm really excited to see that we're doing that because I think it's going to be an excellent outcome for our residents. There's a lot of issues going on in L.A. County. And our city, being uh, such a part of L.A. County but kind of on the outskirts of it, we're all dealing with traffic. Homelessness is a huge issue. So what our city is looking to do is help participate in some way and we want to hear what the county is doing now so we can figure out how we could help out. And in terms of the county, I mean, we're connected to them. Obviously, we contract them for services, whether it's sheriffs, fire. So it's very important that we, we nurture that relationship. Well, absolutely. I mean, one of the reasons our city is able to stay financially viable is that we do contract and we are a contract city. And the county fire, the county sheriff are a huge part of that issue. Um, crime has been a big issue for many years now. Um, we want to continue to hear how that's being uh, funded and also uh, what's, being, what's happening with the Sheriff's Department. She's been a great friend of Rancho Palos Verdes. I'm really still amazed at what she does for us and for the peninsula every day. Uh, we talk to her staff uh, I mean, almost daily in some cases for things that we need and initiatives we need. She's so supportive public safety, some initiatives in Washington, D.C. that we need help on, on our coyote issues. I mean, you name it, she is always there for us. And it shows up in her speech. She's an authentic, real person who tries to do the best for her constituents. We Brooks is one of my dear friends and we're a great example of um, two women who have different political uh, views on most issues but we've found common ground because we know that we can work together to improve um, the lives of the residents that she serves in RPV so I, I enjoy her company a lot. County Supervisor Hahn had a positive message and she's excited about becoming chairman of the Board of Supervisors this December. I'm Liz Brown Swanson reporting for Around the Peninsula. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.